Yo, what is going on everybody? This is RBT and welcome back to another Madden 18 Divisional Combination Experiment video today. As you see in the title, we are going to be combining all of the teams from the NFC West into one to see if they can do the guy dang thing, run the table, potentially go 16-0, but more importantly, win the Super Bowl and bring, I guess, a fourth of a Super Bowl trophy to all four teams in the NFC West. Obviously, if you're not familiar with the NFL too much, the four teams that are being combined into one is the Seahawks, Cardinals, Rams, and 49ers, as the division is going to be represented by the LA Rams. So, the LA Rams, the NFC West, can they do the dang thing? Let's find out. Hopefully you guys do enjoy today's experiment video. If you do, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can continue the trend and smash 2,000 likes. This is the last division I am recording. I've done all of them, so hopefully you might be seeing this last, might be seeing it before, I don't know. But if we can drop a thumbs up for me actually finishing something like this, because I don't normally, be sure to drop a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't, let me know if this is not the last division I upload, what division you do want to see next, whichever's left, and be sure to leave me any other experiment ideas you do have in the comments below. But with that said, let's jump into the video and check out this full NFC West team. Now, starting at the quarterback position, we have Russell Wilson, Jared Goff, Jimmy G, and Carson Palmer. At running back, we have the best one-two punch I've seen on any of these videos. David Johnson and Todd Gurley with Carlos Hyde as the number three. Fullback, we have Kyle Juszczyk, who's actually one of the best fullback overall-wise in Madden at the position at a wide receiver kind of i mean it's good obviously but underwhelming compared to some of the other ones we've seen but still a good depth at least doug baldwin larry fitzgerald pierre garçon robert woods paul richardson sammy watkins Corey cup tyler lockett and marquise goodwin at tight end we have jimmy graham jermaine gresham and tyler higby luke wilson george kittle and gerald everett at left tackle, we have the veteran Joe Staley, backed up by Dwayne Brown. At left guard, Roger Saffold, backed up by Jamon Brown. Center, we have John Sullivan, backed up by Dwayne Brown again. At right guard, Mike Wapati, backed up by Jamon Brown again. And at right tackle, we have Andrew Whitworth, backed up by Trent Brown this time around. Actually, the interior of that O-line is pretty goddamn bad for three or four teams combined into one. But now moving on to the defense, we see some pretty awesome players. Aaron Donald backed up by Michael Brockers and Tank Carradine at right and we have Michael Bennett the veteran backed up by Cliff Averill and Aaron Lynch at D tackle DeForest Buckner, Sheldon Richardson, Corey Peters and Jerron Reed and now the linebacker core pretty talented Chandler Jones backed up by Marcus Golden and Connor Barwin on the inside we have Bobby Wagner backed up by the rookie Ruben Foster, Carlos Dansby and Alec Ogletree on the right side we have KJ Wright, Robert Quinn and Connor Barwin at cornerback we have Richard Sherman, Pat Pete, Tremaine Johnson, Tremont Williams, and Nickel Roby Coleman. At free safety, Earl Thomas, LaMarcus Joyner, and Tyron Matthew. That's got to be the best free safety depth I've ever seen, the best safety depth in general, as we have Cam Chancellor, Tyvon Branch, and John Johnson the third at strong safety. Kicker is going to be Robbie Gold, and the punter is going to be Johnny Hecker, one of the best in Madden 18. Now, I will say... That team, I mean, there's some areas that I could use improvement. The interior the offensive line is pretty underwhelming. Good, I mean, good depth on offense for sure. Talented quarterbacks, talented running backs. This team could do the dang thing. I think they could. I mean, obviously, it could be some improvement somewhere, but I think probably up there with some of the, maybe not the best, but at least probably top three or top four divisions we've seen combined into one team up to this point. Now, what we always do before we do simulate to the playoffs is see where the players at the CPU cut off our team ended up because we always have a huge roster size because the four teams combined into one make like a thousand million players. So a lot of players get cut. We want to see where they do end up because there could be some good ones. Now, check it out. Free agency, and quest. Golson to the Jag, Cody Riggs to the Falcons, Cooper Cup to the Broncos. George Kittle to the Packers, Jaquiski Tart to the Seahawks, the Adrian Wild to the 49ers, Robert Quinn got cut and signed to the Seahawks. We have Alec Ogletree to the Bucks, Julian Davenport to the Seahawks, Hal Batai to the 49ers, James Hurst to the Dolphins, Aaron Lynch got cut, signed to the Bucks, Greg Zerline also got cut, signed by the Texans. We had that Mike Jerron Reed's another one, got signed by the Bengals, Justin Coleman to the Jags. I think that's actually it. Here are the, reg uh, the regular free agents that are normal that are normally free agents and see where they ended up. But with that said, boys, it is time to make our final prediction, for me at least, in this mini experiment series. I think that I, I, the last couple of videos I've recorded, dog, I've been so off, but I'm going to go 14-2. and two. Why? I don't know. 
I'm just gonna say it because I've been so wrong. I was right for the most of the videos, but then I gotta record this session tonight, like three or four videos in a row, and I've been extremely off. But let me know your prediction in the comment section below so we can see if you're better than me at these predictions. Probably. Probably so. So as every team up to this point, I'm pretty sure has, we get a first round by now to see how we did a lot of the offense progress. So that means we probably had a really good year offensively in the defense. They progressed too, so this could be a 15-1 or maybe a 16-0 type year, 14-2. I was dead on. Now this is what is the most surprising. The Cardinals go 19-7. Or, nine, god dang, I didn't know NFL had 26 games in the regular season. They go 9-7. That, by far, is the best we've seen any team do who've had their best players stripped from their team. Carson Palmer, Larry Fitz, Pat Pete, Tyron Matthew, David Johnson, all gone and combined to the Rams. And they still go 9-7. If they make the playoffs, if they make the playoffs, dog, that is absolutely insane. They can't make their playoffs in real life with their best players on the team, but take their best players away, they still go 9-7. And, seven, and th that's, that's just wild. That is the first time that's happened and that shouldn't have happened. They go 9-7. That is dumb. I don't, I, we have got to check out their stats and see how the heck they did that. But I do want to see if we ended up somehow losing to the Cardinals. Who did we lose to? So we beat the Cardinals 31 to nothing the first time. We lose to the Texans and the Saints just by a couple points. So we got some pretty big wins as well. So this team, I think, should definitely be winning the playoffs, but crazier things have happened. Did we end up with the best record in the NFL we should have? And we did. The Steelers had the second best. And any surprises at the bottom? And the Seahawks did have the worst record. The 49ers had a bad record too. And the Buccaneers had a bad record, as they always do for some reason in the sim. But the Browns won seven games too. So this particular simulation is wild. So we end up with the best offense in the NFL, which we we should have. And we defensively had, I'm assuming that's the best defense in the NFL yardage-wise. And it is by a lot. God dang, dog. Our defense was incredible. A thousand yards less allowed than any other team in the NFL, which is not has rarely been the case in any of these experiments. Although the teams have been good. It's just mad and dumb. Now, I don't think we had somebody win the MVP. Aaron Rodgers wins it. We had Duke Johnson and Russell Wilson come in fifth and sixth, respectively, and that is the only players we had in the top ten. Now to check out the stats, I'm more interested to look at the Cardinals. I don't know who they ended up signing, but anyways, Russell Wilson, 3,800 yards, 36 touchdowns, 8 picks, only sacked 24 times. I've seen better, but that's not bad. Rushing guard-wise, David Johnson, 1,700 yards and 16 touchdowns. Todd Gurley as the backup also added with 16 touchdowns. I think the most we've ever seen out of the 1-2 punch has been 35 touchdowns. So they got close with 32. Receiving guard-wise, we didn't have a 1,000-yard receiver, but Doug Baldwin did lead us with 938 yards. And Pierre Garçon was pretty productive. 46 receptions, and 12 of those was touchdowns. That's pretty good. Defensively, our leading tackler only had 87 tackles. K.J. Wright with 87. But God dang, Aaron Donald with 24 sacks. That is insane. And Michael Bennett, pretty respectable as well with 15. And our leading interception guy was Bobby with 7. Now, first of all, I got to go see... I gotta go see the Cardinals. How the heck did the Cardinals win nine games and make the playoffs? Like, who stepped up? Who did the dang thing? Matt Barkley and Blaine Gabbert split time. That's insane. Matt Barkley, 12 touchdowns, 9 picks. And Blaine Gabbert, 11 touchdowns, 4 picks. Was sacked a combined 42 times. Madden is a wild. A combined 3,500 yards. Dog, I don't know. They still had AP, so that's why they probably were successful running the football. He had 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Kerwin Williams was their backup, also had 6 touchdowns. Leading receiver was Jerron Brown with over 1,000 yards and 6 touchdowns. Who, who stepped up defensively? They had Josh Bynes with 140 tackles. That's a lot. And they had Willie Young with 8.5 sacks. Now checking out the rest of the teams from the West. First of all, going to be going to the Seattle Seahawks, see how they did. They had Austin Davis, 16 touchdowns, 16 picks, 3,500 yards, 58 times he was sacked. Leading rusher was Chris Carson with 3.1 yards per carry, one touchdown, 674 yards. Thomas Rawls had the most touchdowns with five. And do they have a 1,000-yard receiver? No, but Eddie Royal did lead them with 853 yards and eight or five touchdowns, rather. I don't know why I said eight. I'm blind. And last but not least, I'm trying to think who the heck the other team is in the NFC West. I'm dumb. It's actually the San Francisco 49ers. They, I think, had only three wins. 
CJ Bethard or Bethard had 14 touchdowns, 20 pick sacks, 60 times, only threw for 2,900 yards. Leading rusher was Marlon Mack with 795 yards, nine touchdowns, which is actually pretty good. Leading receiver was Malcolm Mitchell with 57 receptions. Actually, Stevie Johnson had 679 yards. He always shows his face in all of these videos and had five touchdowns. So last but not least, my boys, I think we've done everything. My brain is broken from recording seven videos in a row, but I think it's time to do the goddamn thing and see if the NFC West can finish off these divisional combination recordings by doing the goddamn thing and winning the Super Bowl. They should. By looking at the stats, looking at how we won every game, we should be doing the thing. Can we start it off by beating the Saints? And we do. Now, to top it off by beating the real-life Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles. Can we take it one step closer to the Super Bowl? God dang it, no. Wow. Wow. Dog, this was one of the best teams, I think, overall we put together. And they end off these experiments by not doing the dang thing. They lose. They lose to the Eagles. So four teams combined into one. Dog, what if the Cardinals win? Dude, if the Cardinals win, I'm going to laugh. Nah, it says the Eagles won. But if the Cardinals actually made it, like, far, I'm going to laugh and cry and, like, die. The Eagles do win, so at least it shows it's a little bit realistic. But still, I think four teams should, you know, overcome the Eagles and beat them. Conference championship game, the Eagles beat us by three. So at least it was kind of close. And the Cardinals in the wild card round actually held their own against the eventual Super Bowl champions, but they got knocked out in the wild card round, so this game is just crazy. But with that said, boys, that is going to do it for today's video, and that's going to do it, potentially, if this is the last one I upload of the combination of the divisions. Hopefully, you did enjoy this set of experiments, and if you did, make sure to drop a like. If you have any other future experiment ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully, you guys have some good ones, because I have no ideas in my brain. But be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes for the final video of these experiments. I will catch you guys next time though. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.